Those two. Boy. Oh. Oh. Let's touch a mirror. You know I will. Where you from? Jackson. So first of all, I'm gonna pull the song right here. Since it's not a full video, I'm just gonna like pick which part of the song I wanna use. Honestly, she a dub. I'm a thug, but I got feelings. Kept it real from beginning. She be on that. Hold on. I think I like. I think what we're trying to do is perfect for around here. On the news too. We gonna pull up on the scene right there with the news crew. Let's touch a mill. You know I will. Oh yeah, that's gonna sound dope from here. On the scene right there with the news crew. Let's touch a mill. You know I will. Where you from? Yeah, beautiful. So yeah, just split the clip using S. I'm gonna pull this all the way over here. And yeah, so we got our little snippet of what we're gonna use. All right, so I'm gonna drag the video that we're actually gonna use in here. I really like to put the music all the way at the bottom. There we go. All right, let's get down to business. So I'm gonna try to sync the clip up perfectly. Alright, right here. That's where the bait beat drops. Right. I'm gonna put a marker and uh, sync it up pretty much. Look for where I get the kill. Right there. Fuck. Excuse me. Split it. And you just got lined it up pretty much. Alright, there's about nice. I'm just gonna drag the clip all the way over here. Yep, that's beautiful. Alright, now that we have that done, we should add some velocity. Zoom in. I usually like to go one, two, three. Frame rates to the left and to the right. A, little, a lot of people say go five frame rates to the right. But then I tend to go seven sometimes, depending on which you'd prefer. What I'd mostly do is like, you know, I'd experiment with both. Go one, two, three, four, five first, test it out, see if it's good. Or you can actually go, you know, six, seven to the right, test out if that's good as well. But yeah, let's try with seven. And uh, you want to up the middle one to 200%, drop this to 50, and that way the clip looks even more dope. And a, a quick tip is uh, you can quickly highlight the video from up here, hold shift B, and that way your GPU just renders it, pre-renders it, so it's uh, actually smooth. So let's take let's see how it looks. Uh, hold up. Start from here. Yeah. Shift B. Looks pretty dope. See, if I up this to 300. Yeah, I like 300 better. So yeah, keep the middle one at 300%. A lot of people use 200. I usually switch between 200, 300. Sometimes if I have to, 350. But yeah, 300 is pretty dope. And uh, yeah, we chilling pretty much. So what's next? What's next? Oh yeah. Now you gotta add a video track up top. Matter of fact, add two. So first of all, let's start with the phase. Now, okay, when you put this in, you wanna press U, delete the um, audio track, and uh, let's add the teeth down here. Same thing, you delete audio track. Hold up. Uh, move this up top, and we're chilling once more. Set the compositing mode to screen. We'll do this here as well. Um, you want to make it lighten because when you use screen, as you can see it. Um, you can actually see the background overlay on the uh, video, which pretty sucks. So yeah. So here, if you make this screen, come on, screen. There we go. Yeah, you can actually see the squares in the background, and that's pretty poopy. But then if you make it lighten, your heart just vibe. All right, now you can see through. Okay, what we want to do first is want to crop the picture because it's quite large. So just do what I'm doing, pretty much. Yeah, 
Yeah, perfect. Let's touch a mirror. No. Let's touch a mirror. You know I will. Why you? Drag down. I'm gonna highlight both of them so we can move it at the exact same time. Um, just hold shift and then select both. All right, just move together. Just find a really good spot into which that could start. So uh, I've already lined up all my clips perfectly. Before you do anything, let's just preview what it looks like. Start from. Okay. We're gonna pull up on the scene right there with the news crew. Let's touch a mirror, you know I will. Where you from? That's pretty dope. Alright. Okay, so once we, once we already have that done, the mouth part, the teeth, is green, which isn't the same color as, you know, the eyes. So what we can do is uh, search for BCC. Just give it a second to load up. Alright, actually, it's Hue. Just search up Hue. And there it is, BCC hue, saturation, lightness. Here's my preset. Um, I'm gonna drag it on, then you just drag it onto the clip. I'm gonna show you the settings, see how it changes the color. So yeah, you just copy this preset pretty much. There's nothing down here you have to worry about. Just copy this preset. And once you do, you just close that out. And uh, I'm not quite sure actually if this preset works for everyone, but you just wanna, you know, mess around with the hue until it actually matches. But yeah, you just, you know, use that preset and boom, you got it. Let's try it, let's look at that. News too, we're gonna pull up on the scene right there with the news crew. Let's touch a mirror, you know I will. Beautiful. The sound. God, this is amazing. Alright, I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit. Let's add this right there. I'm gonna turn the clip all the way up on this one because it's just so dope. So, since the monster effect is just this long, a couple of seconds long, what you wanna do is uh, when you scroll down to the actual sound effect, you wanna hold control and then just drag it to be as small as the clip itself. You know what I mean? So, yeah, they're about the same size long. Alright, let's see what it looks like. On the news too, we gonna pull up on the scene right there with the news crew. Let's touch a mirror, you know I will. What Amazing. One last thing that I would like to show you guys is a setting that I personally use, and uh, it's color correction. So if you look at the current clip, it looks a bit dull. I mean, this is act the actual game is, but also I use a D10 color plan setting. But I found out also from watching other YouTube videos but one thing I also found out is that if you go on here the track that has your main clip on click on this track effects you could uh, go on Vegas down here right here you can hold control and select these Vegas solar um, color corrector secondary you also select the Vegas sharpen as well as the where is it saturation adjust these three would make your videos look amazing i just add okay and now these are my settings so the clip looks kind of grainy right now what you want to do is uh first of all for the co color corrector here's my preset that you want to use right here and you can see it changing for the saturation adjust adjust this a little bit Right there, you look at that, the colors just pop out. And for the sharpen, boom, that's my preset. So you just want to copy these presets. Just go right here, search up blur. I use the Gaussian blur. Here's my preset for the blur 0.0172. Um, you keyframe it, drag it a little bit out, and set these to zero. Oh, to zero. Right. Next, we want to add some shake. Um, so just go over here and search up shake, Brick what? Sorry, shake, S underscore shake. Here is the preset you should use. Uh, actually, sometimes I like to up this a little bit more to like 305, 306. Keep the frequency low because then it just looks more, much more amazing. 
and uh, yeah, copy those presets. Here's the X and Y. Yeah, you don't need the Z in tilt. But yeah, that's everything. And uh, what we want to do is add a um, our keyframe, a keyframe right here at the start of the clip. Drag it all the way to the end and set the keyframe to zero. Search up glow. And you search up glow S underscore glow. That's the color correction option. Drag it onto that clip, and this is what you just set it to to 0 0.00, 0 0.100. That way your clip is back to normal. And uh, let's look at it with the shake. The, with, the, oh. with the news crew, let's touch a mill. You know I will. Where you from? That's actually really good. Uh, I'm delete that. Drag this up here. Boom. Alright, now we're just going to keyframe each and every part. Each and every frame. So, this one frame. Actually, from the start right here, we want to. It's a bit big. Drag it onto the back. Of the skin, oh, reduce the size a little bit. That's perfect. Boom. Still follows. You know, you just want to go every frame, frame by frame. Still centered. That's perfect. 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 Still good. You might want to adjust this a little bit more. Yeah, we're good. Keep going. Now you're just pressing your next find because you go through the frames down here. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much really good. And I think we should stop the wings here as soon as the character hits the ground. So I'm just gonna hold control, drag that all the way down here. Alright, so for the eagle effect, um, right here, I'm going to link this in the description. So, what you could do is look for an eagle sound effect on YouTube, or you could just do what I'm going to do. Right here is the eagle one, but I prefer using the gold one in this scenario. I used this one in my previous video, if you guys want to check it out, link's going to be in the description, or you could just look at my most recent video before this one. Alright, I'm gonna delete the top clip. We just want this one, this sound. That's quite loud. Drag this all the way to the bottom. Eagle starts right here, so I'm gonna sync them up. Boom. And the eagle effect ends right there. So I'm just gonna hold control, drag it all the way till where it ends, and they're perfectly synced. Alright, let's see what it looks like. We're gonna pull up on the scene right there with the new crew. Let's touch a mill. You know I will. Where you from? It's pretty good. If you right click and then click on insert or remove envelope, composition level, click on that. You see it creates a blue line at the top right here. So what you wanna do is right where the monster face, whatever shows up, you wanna actually okay just do what I do. Double click double click um double click double click now what that does you'll see just look at this all right now peep this we're gonna pull up on the scene right there with the new crew let's touch a mill you know i will Wait. so in your video effects search up some flicker right here S underscore flicker here's my fortnite preset drag it right there and uh, we use this if the color correction doesn't work on this and your clip um, changes color again you might want to disable the glow or for now you might want to leave it because we're not done yet but yeah this is my preset for the flicker and for the flicker you might want to um, also do the same thing add uh, this drag it all the way to the end and set the keyframe amplitude right here all the way to one and that way this um clip stops flickering now what you want to do next is add the glow 
from BCC which is right here BCC glow OBS this is an amazing effect right here boom add that on there um, this is my preset for the glow you want to copy this if it's too bright just you know turn this to the right a little bit more but you know the brightness is pretty much why you use it so yeah I'm gonna re-add that and let's see what it looks like no remember you can just highlight the video hold shift B and then it just like pre-renders the whole thing for you that way you can see how good it looks we gon' pull up on the scene right there with the new crew Let's touch a mill, you know I will And we're good So that's pretty much everything guys If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, sub, and everything else I'm really not used to doing all this kind of content, so Yeah, it was pretty bad, but I don't know, I just hope I helped you guys out there And uh boys also if you want to check out much more of my videos links in the description or you could just click on my channel and check out you know my other videos and hope I helped you out and I can release more if you like just let me know all right peace guys